In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use automatic page refreshes in Power BI to monitor your real-time data efficiently. And yes, I'm going to do that in Power BI, in a Power BI report, because we have these awesome real-time dashboards in Fabric and they can refresh continuously, but every time they refresh, they get you all the data. So they're not checking, is there something new when I say I want to refresh every 10 seconds. They just refresh everything again. And what I want is I want the newest data, but I don't want to get the refresh of everything. I want Power BI to check, is there a field with a certain value that has a, something new in it, a new value, and then I want to refresh everything. And Power BI, you see one of my reports, this is the same data as the data I showed you before in the example for real-time dashboards in Fabric, but I uh, use a, a direct query connection to the data and I put it in Power BI and you maybe just saw this value has changed and that's because I have these page refreshes. Where can you find the page refreshes? If you go to the format pane, you need to click somewhere outside of your report. You click on the format pane and there you have at the bottom page refreshes. And there you can choose between auto page refreshes and change detection. Auto page refreshes. There you can say I want it to be refreshed every 30 minutes or two hours or these kind of things. But that's not what we want because I want the change detection. If I click on change detection, I actually can edit the change detection. And when I click on this, I can say I want the existing one and I already have change detection for the maximum of time. You would need to know in my data, in my real time data, time is actually a value that is updated every time there is new data added. Uh, I have here a bike data set and every time there's a new bike detected, there's a timestamp. So if there are no new bikes for two hours, there will be no timestamp and I don't need to refresh my report all the time. So that's why I want change detection based on time, but you could choose all kinds of stuff. If you work with IDs in your report and the IDs add up, you could use the max ID. And of course you could do new measure. You say new, what should it be based on? Count, count distinct min, max sum. I choose my existing one. And here you see, we can choose what we want to do like seconds, minutes, hours. We don't want to wait too long. So I go for 15 seconds here. If I apply and we wait a little bit, <laughs> this should change. This will only change if there's really data detected because otherwise we don't do the refresh and that's super important because it's not that you get every 15 seconds new data. It's only that you get new data when it checks after 15 seconds and there is a new value there. So to summarize, it's easy to find. Get your data into Power BI. It only works with direct query. Go to the format pane and set up the page refresh. And that way you make sure that your report is continuously refreshed based on a certain condition. Did you know about the setting because you can also use this just with your regular Power BI report. It's not just with real-time data, but you need to use direct credit. Let me know if you knew about this.